We're coming to the end of the book of Isaiah, and a lot of scholars of Isaiah talk about how the first half of the book is kind of doom and gloom and a lot of warnings, but the second half include a lot of promised blessings and mercy that will come. And so we're hitting the very tail end of that. And we see that kind of played out with, within some of these chapters themselves where they may start talking about justice and warnings. And, and, you know, this is a time period when some of the Israelites had been very wicked and the Assyrians had come in and had conquered the northern kingdom. And the southern kingdom of Judah was under siege as well. And if they luckily survived... Uh, but Isaiah's warnings are to them that, you know, see what happened to your brethren, this could happen to you. I think if you're an Israelite who's living in an unrighteous society and maybe feeling that in your life, both the justice and mercy are going to feel important to okay. you, right? To know that the ways that we live that, that feel unsustainable are unsustainable and that that Christ is coming, the Messiah is coming to give us something else. And these are the chapters where we get a lot of imagery that still sticks with us to this day. These are the chapters where he says, I've trodden the winepress alone. Mm. And you get that red robe uh, imagery. So, so when we talk about Christ returning to the earth, a lot of how we imagine it comes from the message Isaiah gives us. So what is the connection between now creating Zion and the second coming? when the Messiah comes again, he's going to make a better world. Well, that doesn't just happen magically, right? <laughs> Our hearts are going to need to change at some point. Okay. And we've been called to start making that world now, right? That's what this calling of making a Zion is. 